energy industry in Texas continues to struggle. A cold snap in February led to blackouts that left millions of citizens without power. When the power went down, the death toll rose, and while 151 deaths have been attributed to the grid failure, a new report from BuzzFeed News links another 550 deaths to the catastrophe. Part of the problem was communication. The grid was overstressed as people raised their thermostats to 80 degrees to pump as much heat out of the furnace whenever the power popped back on. While the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, or ERCOT, urged Texans to minimize use of large appliances and keep thermostats as low as possible, many chose not to comply or never received the message. Now, Texas is in the middle of a heat wave, and ERCOT is again asking residents to conserve energy to relieve stress on the grid. But this time, the group in charge of the Texas electrical grid is taking more control over the situation, and it is reigniting fears many have had over the Internet of Things in a greater connected society. Some residents in the Houston area were waking up sweaty and noticed that someone had been messing with the thermostat. After ERCOT called for residents to take it easy on the AC, many didn't listen. Some had medical conditions or young children, and some didn't get the message or simply refused to comply. That's when residents noticed that their smart thermostats were turned up and later received an alert saying that the remote change was part of a three-hour energy saving event. The remote access was traced to a, quote, Smart Savers Texas demand response program managed by Energy Hub, a company that manages multiple electrical grids across the U.S. According to a report by KHOU, some customers entered sweepstakes that gave Energy Hub access to control their thermostats during periods of high energy demand. You know, you just really need to read the terms and conditions sometimes. Residents are able to opt out of the program, but the concern is that many didn't know they were in it to begin with. The event raises concerns over who can manipulate connected devices. And it's also proof that while this is a service residents signed up for, albeit unknowingly, connected devices can be manipulated. The news comes just a couple of weeks after Amazon was exposed for sharing personal internet connections of anyone who owned an Amazon smart device. Sure, these are programs that you can opt out of, but the problem comes when people don't know that they've ever opted in. That sounds redundant, but I feel like we gotta say it twice. The joke about IoT has long been, why do I need a smart fridge? We're sold on smart, connected devices providing actionable data to make our lives easier and provide energy savings. But this story provides more fuel for the fire for those with big brother concerns. I'm David Manti, this is IN Now.